Hello everyone, this is Recon Stewart, and today I'm starting a new series. I'm going to be flying a four-mission campaign called Operation Save Badger, and I'm going to be doing it uh, similar to one of my favorite YouTubers, uh, Bunyap Sims, who uh, has always inspired me with my channel. So I'm going to be going through the briefings, the mission planners, uh, the startups, takeoffs, I'm going to do everything uh, and explain everything as I do it so that each mission is, is also somewhat of a tutorial. I uh, am not going to be cutting out too much of the footage. Uh, I think I've received a number of comments where people actually enjoy seeing the entire flight. But what I am going to do is break each mission down into 15 uh, to 20 minute chunks depending on where a natural break is in the mission. Uh, make it a little easier for viewers to watch than a, than a two hour one long video. So that's my plan. This is my first attempt at it so I'm sure there'll be some issues but uh, with all that said let's get going. So this is Operation Save Badger. This is mission one. Uh, we need to assist Badger at a surface to air missile site or SAM site. Uh, start time of the mission is September 14th, 2011 at 10 a.m. We are on the U.S. side with what it looks like NATO and we're uh, going up against the Abkhazia insurgents, Russia, South Ossetia, and the Ukraine. Our mission tasking is close uh, air support or CAS. We are a flight of A-10Cs. Um, we're going to be armed with, uh, looks like, uh, rockets, uh, GBU-38s, GBU-12s, and we're going to have a targeting pod and a uh, ECM pod. Situation on the ground, two-man team called Sign Badger is on the ground between enemy lines searching for the location of the believed to be unactivated SA-10 SAM site. SA-10s, I know, uh, about a 98,000 foot uh, range and uh, 32 nautical miles so it's not like we can skirt around it. Uh, we're going to be taking off from Gudata uh, with uh, VHIF AM radio of 130. Our divert station will be Sakumi and if we need another divert uh, we'll have Nalchik. Our flight radios, will, our hog flight will be on 251 uh, UHF radio and we can uh, contact Badger using uh, F10 menu in the radio comms. Our objective is to take off from Gudata, fly our waypoints, and follow instructions as they are presented to you. Your goal is to destroy the enemy SA-10 SAM site and any further tasks Badger provides you with. There are three briefing photos for reference. We'll take a look at those in a minute. And once we're given the coordinates from the JTAC, uh, we can contact them on uh, radio F10. Uh, threats, looks like we have paratroopers, some uh, Zoo 23s, the SA-10s of course, some APCs, some transport trucks, uh, infantry soldiers, uh, SA-18 man pads, uh, more troops, more trucks, and again the SA-10 stuff. Our temperature and wind information and takeoff time will be 10 a.m. All right, let's uh, look into these pictures here. So we're taking off from Gudata. Our divert air uh, field is Sukumi. And if we have a serious issue, we can divert to Nalchik up here. Uh, anyway, we're going to take off from Gudata. We're going to fly over the mountains. And we're going to head towards this area here where uh, Badger is, who will then direct us further on to a target. Let's see, this is an overhead view of the city. So we've got a main road going north to south, and then two, uh, what I'd call outer belt roads around the city here. And it looks like uh, Badger is located on the western side of the city in this, uh, this belt here. Right here. And let's see, how can we... So here are some apartment buildings, uh, these eight shapes. Uh, we know that Badger is going to be located in this gray roof building here between these... Uh, I, I think they're like apartment buildings anyway. 
but pretty much directly in the center of this out outer line road here. All right, let's go into the mission planner. All right, so here we are taking off from Gudata, and we're gonna Sorry, I have triple screens and it does not like the map and triple screens. So we're going to take off from Gudata. We're going to fly up here across the mountains to Fensin to IP. And then I imagine that we'll be getting a call about some nonsense in here. I am not going to zoom in as that will give away a, a lot of the tactics of the mission. But... Uh, this is our general area here, and we've got Nalchik over here to divert to if we need to. Alright, let's uh, get back out of here. And let's start the mission. Alright, so we're in the cockpit now. I'm not going to go over any of this stuff. We just went over that. So let's get our bird started. Go ahead and shut the cockpit just to alleviate some Command of the noise. The Hawk flight. We have a two-man spec ops team. Call sign badger searching behind enemy lines for an inactive Vesa tense SAM site. You are tasked with destroying it. Badger will contact you later with an update on their search progress and further talk on. Good luck. All right, let's get our cockpit and switches ready to add power. So armament ground safety switch is down in the safe position. E Iggy HQ TOD switch is disabled. IFF antenna is set to both. Intercom controls, let's set to Gudata here, 130 on the front radio or the VHF AM radio. Um, let's make sure we're on VHF here. We are. I'm going to go ahead and mute TACAN as I don't like the beeping. Um, let's see here. Emergency flaps. Retract. Aft. Flight control norm. Aileron and elevator emergency disengage set to mid. Speed brake emergency retract aft. Pitch roll trim set to norm. HARS override switch is set to uh, norm. Refuel status and extra lights, that's a good setting. Invis lights are off. Uh, I'm going to adjust my throttle master control switch to the aft position. Make sure that both my throttles are off the, and behind the detent. Uh, double check my flaps position. And double check my engine operating switches. Speed brake control is set to the middle position. APU is off. Let's go ahead and turn our boost pumps on. And double check that emergency brake handle is pushed in. All right, that'll do it for the left console. Let's check the instrument panel. Landing light. Gear handle down, landing light off, anti-skid off, master arm safe, gun pack safe, laser arm safe, TGP safe. All of my uh, HUD switches are up, and my kick UJ TARS if sick are all off. I'm going to make sure my standby attitude indicator is caged. I'm going to go ahead and reset my accelerometer, check that all my fire handles are pushed in, check that my fire extinguisher discharge switch is in the mid position. And double check auxiliary landing gear handle is functioning. And all of my breakers are pushed in. All right, let's uh, come over to the right console. Turn on my AC jet power, left and right. Uh, countermeasure system is off. Iggy system is off. Oxygen system and environmental controls are set properly.
Now we don't have TACAN or ILS controls to um, Gudata, but we do have them to Nalchik. So if we have to divert, let's get those set up right now. Kneeboard. Where is Nalchik? There it is. Tacan is 15 x ray and ILS is 110.50. Kneeboard. Alright, Tacan stations are set. Let's set up our lights. All right, and I think we are ready to add power. So let's switch battery to on, inverter switch to standby. I'll go ahead and flip on my APU switch and flip on my UHF radio. Go ahead and do a fire bleed, bleed air fire detect test. And uh, my gear lights are functioning, do a signal lights lamp test. Double check my fuel, looks like we've got a full tank. Fuel gauge is working properly. Um, let's turn on our oxygen and do an oxygen indicator test. Looks like it's working, let's go ahead and turn on our APU gen to power. And let's turn on our CD, uh, CDU and our Iggy. And we'll go ahead and get our other radio spooled up. And I think we are ready to start our engines. Tower. Request startup. Good order. Hog. One, one. Request startup. Alright, so we're starting our left engine. So we're going to be watching our left engine gauges here. This is our temp, this is our RPM, and this is our oil pressure. We're looking for our temp to be about 550 ITT or 550 degrees Celsius. We're looking for our percent RPM to stable out at about 60%. And we're looking at our PSI and our oil pressure gauge to stable out at about 60%. Um, we still also have a light here on our engine start cycle letting know that the engine is still spooling up. And shortly, we're going to get an alert here, there it is, that the APU gen is on and we don't need it anymore because we've got AC gen power now coming from the left engine. However, I, li I leave my APU and my APU gen on until all my avionics are up and uh, running before I turn that off. Okay, uh, looks like our left engine is up and running. Let's start our right engine. We're looking for those same marks on our right engine gauges here. All right, we have left engine and right engine up and running. I think that's a good place for a break. So thanks for watching this first episode of Operation Save Badger Mission 1, and we will be right back.